Okay, now let's try and solve this using calculus. Our equations were that the pressure change over a slab of air is proportional to minus the density. And the pressure and density are related by this, where we fixed a constant by using sea level data. Okay, so let's try and turn that into calculus form. Take the top equation and rearrange it, so d delta p, the change in pressure over a slab divided by the thickness of the slab equals minus the density, but we'll put the pressure in here so we don't have density in. So that's minus, as the density is pressure over C times G. If we take the limit, that's telling us that it's uh, depressure by dH. Um, So our equ equation is P prime H, the rate of change of pressure with respect to height, equals minus a constant, which is G over C, times the pressure. Now that's an equation we've seen before several times. It's just the exponential. We've got the rate of change of something equal to a constant times minus the thing itself. So we could say that's in the form P prime H equals minus a constant, let's call it A, times pressure. If we type that into Mathematica, we find that the solution is just what we've seen before. It's that P of H equals a constant e to the minus A H. So all we need to do is work out what A is and what the constant C1 is. So by comparing this equation and that equation, we can see that A equals G over C, which has a numerical value of 1.2 by 10 to the minus 4. To work out the constant of integration here, we work that out by setting our starting conditions. We know that at height 0, the pressure is sea level pressure, 101,000 pascals. So e to the naught is 1, so that means that C1 equals 101,000 pascals. So let's call it under pressure at sea level. So our final equation is that the pressure at some height h is equal to the pressure at sea level e to the minus g over our constant C times the height. An exponential for the special case of a isothermal atmosphere, an atmosphere where the temperature is the same all the way up. And the scale height is given by G over C, it's something like the half-life of the atmosphere, so it's telling you how thick the atmosphere is.